Making our own version of solo leveling as in we see a boss room and we enter it. Blue flame torches appear and a big ass boss is there. What do you do? You get the fuck out. It seems like it's going to be a pretty hype episode. Let's begin. Okay, a little bit of replay. We got the teleportation rock in our hands just so we can port in time, right? Get out. Get out. Stop walking. Famous last words. Sachi moment incoming again. Uh oh. Ooh. The soundtrack though. Gleam eyes. Run! Look, in terms of building height, it's pretty cool, but like that's gotta be the stupidest thing you could have done. Imagine you fucking enter and it locks you in and you can't even get out. No teleportation rock available either. Like that could have happened, dude, but obviously not. All right, the blue eyed demon, let's go. They got out safe? Maybe the pattern would change too. Shield wielders in a game called Sword Art Online. Hiding what? The greatest merit of using a one handed sword is being able to use a shield, isn't it? Well, that's dumb pussy shit. See, in video games, the greatest merit of using a one handed sword is that you can have another one handed sword. You know, like anybody that plays video games wants to be edgy and have two swords instead of a shield. Like an Elden Ring, I'm not gonna fucking have a shield. Shields are for pussies. Why would you use a shield? Shields are for pussies, dude. Just do more damage. Yeah, 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 the new sword too. Equip that shit. Hmm. Maybe we did fuck Liz and Asuna's getting suspicious now. Never mind. Oh, he's trying to hide his skills. Doesn't want to tell her. <laughs> Is it handmade sandwiches again? Dude, he loves her handmade cooking. Wow. <gasps> he looks at that sandwich with more enthusiasm than he looks at Asuna or any other girl, dude. Kirito X sandwich is the actual ship. Maybe dropping the sandwich this time will teach us how to beat the Gleam Eyes, man. Oh. So she got some new seasoning, huh? Don't know what the fuck any of that is. Just like SAO materials that leads to real world flavors. Oh my god, it's soy sauce! Wow! Soy sauce sandwich! Oh, the Riz? Wait, 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 we're, we're helping her? What? Why? I hate for my fortune to be sold off. <laughs> huh. This entire ship is like, I'm just gonna make us some sandwiches. I mean, it's kind of cute though, because like in the beginning, how did this all start? Kirito gave her bread, jam, right? That's how this kind of all started and then she made a sandwich for us. So I feel like, I don't know, I, I, it, it may seem kind of dumb, but I enjoy these sandwich moments. Samurai armor, Kyle. <laughs> <gasps> Is it Kyle's time to die? No. Uh, no, I hope if we fight the Gleam Eyes together, surely they're not going to die, right? I don't know. I feel like Kyle has raised some dead flags in episode one, but he's been kind of chilling for a while. Hello. Is he going to be emo and edgy still? Bro, come on. Girlfriend. Yeah. Oh, she's ready to draw her sword. <laughs> right, because Asuna's got a lot of clout, right? Vice commander of like the strongest guild. Mm -hmm. Wait, Kyle, what? What, bro? Is he just shocked that Kirito is able to, you know, secure, you know, the Asuna, the Flash? Wait, we memed about Sachi having high ping in the abridged version, right? And that causing her to die. But straight up, like, what about lag? I'm sure we would never have to consider it, but imagine you just get a little lag spike in the game and you just die and then you die in real life too. <laughs> looking, looking for a girlfriend. <laughs> and he's dead. Leader! 
They don't give a fuck. <laughs> Aren't you off? No, you I want a girlfriend too. <laughs> the Flash is super popular. Oh. Okay. I, I think... I think we're chilling now, right? Good reunion. Happy vibes. Yep. And she's racist. But she makes sandwiches. Oh. Oh. More guild people? Army? Members of the army? Their guild is called the fucking army and they just all wear the same uniform here? Giant reigning guild of the first floor? They look pretty tired. Maybe they can be cannon fodder for us. Damn, they are super exhausted. What's going on? They're roleplaying pretty hard. I know they're two years into it, but goddamn. Like, they're LARPing. <laughs> I am Lieutenant Colonel. Go back to the Aincrad Liberation Army. Nice to meet you. It's like, bro, come on. <laughs> We're stuck in this video game. Beat her. Are they gonna go in first and die for us? What? Maybe we can use them to learn the pattern. Why would you give it- What? Why would you- The fuck? No, no, no. Okay. I mean, look, what he's saying sounds good until you realize that he's twisting this. He's saying for the people, for his own individual gains. You know what I mean? He's he's hiding behind the mask of for the people. We need equality, but at the end of the day, he just leeching. Kyle was about to fight. Alright, we'll, we'll, we'll give him. I would do one deal where if I give this to you, you guys have to go in first and we watch you fight it. And I'm going to take some notes on the boss patterns. I don't really like that guy. Fight right now. Do it. They're going to get wiped. <laughs> they're going to get wiped. <laughs> yeah, they're so tired too. They're not ready for this. He's taking this drill sergeant, you know, roleplay way too hard. You really think it's a good idea to rush in right now when your men are super tired? Like, I'm not going to feel bad when all these people die, bro. Go in first. Let me take some notes in the boss pattern. Go ahead. Be my guest. Wait, what a butt are they actually going in right now? No, not yet, not yet. Uh who's the nice guy here? <laughs> bro, you're 24, she's like 16. You cannot be doing this, bro. You cannot be doing this. <laughs> no. Okay, 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 okay. He's being nice, he's being nice, he's being nice. He's being very nice. Okay, okay, okay. He's always playing defense for Kirito, man. But like, good guys never live too long. Good guys always die first. The shitty people always live forever. Okay. All right. Wow, Kyle. Or maybe they're inside? Where did they go? Are they fighting? I can hear screaming. Just ditch Kyle. No, oh, we should have been taking notes. Take notes right now. Don't let their death be in vain, dude. What a bunch of idiots. Why? It worked for us? No, we ran out. We ran out. Can they not run out anymore? I guess it's too far. Yeah, they trapped it like Sachi's room. <laughs> Kyle, no! <laughs> ah, Kyle is too good of a guy. I feel like he's just gonna go in, you know. But if he goes in, maybe Kirito will also follow in. <laughs> oh, Kyle, no! <laughs> Remember the Sachi PTSD. <laughs> no, Sachi! <laughs> Oh, it's got a breath attack. What is this, like a Chimera Minotaur? Idiot. Dumbass. Shatter in front of him. Shatter in front of him. We warned you, bro. You gonna cry? Gonna cry, little baby? 
What do you mean impossible? This is the most possible thing that could have happened. You rushed in with your men tired and you got yourself fucked. What did you think was gonna happen? No, Kyle, Kyle, don't do it. Oh, it's the soundtrack again. Asta's gonna go in? For this random NPC? I thought Kyle would be the one going in, not Asna. Oi, oi. Ooh. Ooh, the soundtrack is so good though. The soundtrack is so good though. <laughs> this is so good. All right, Kyle's gonna evacuate everybody. Yo, we need the other sword out! Bro, get the other sword! Is that the only option left? What is that? I mean, it's pretty obvious, right? Oh, Kirito, why do you use a one-handed sword? You don't use a shield. Oh, what about that other sword? I sense the second sword coming out, but he's really hiding it. Huh? It's like a trump card. Why? <laughs> nah, fuck them. They can all die. They can all die. Who cares about them? Sachi! Sachi PTSD. <laughs> bro, focus, focus, bro. <laughs> 10 seconds. Oh, it's coffee soda soundtrack. 10 seconds. What, 10 seconds to get the fucking sword out? <laughs> Yes, he does. Okay. Not gonna lie. That was the fastest 10 seconds in anime ever. 10 seconds in anime usually means like three fucking episodes sometimes, especially if it's a sports anime, dude. That was fast as fuck. Let's go. Second sword, dragon poop sword. The piece of shit of the dragon. <gasps> He's dual wielding! Starburst. Name technique? Name technique? What is this? Dual wield skill? For Kyle! Yeah. Damn! Over? Yeah. The opening didn't spoil! Cause the opening showed us Asna and Kirito taking it out! But they trolled us and the real deal was this dual wielding dude, the opening did it correct. The opening did it actually so good, dude. This is so sick though. So it's basically just dual wielding Starbust stream. Just a flurry of dual attacks. It is truly the soundtrack that just makes it so much better, huh? <laughs> so the Yo, the reaction! Yo, the reactions from Kyle and Asuna during this moment. This is why I love an anime, dude. Other people's reaction during a sick moment, dude. Oh! Oh! Hi, hi. What the? Is it over? Is it over? Or is it the second phase? It's gotta be over, right? Congratulations! This is a floor that nobody's beaten yet, right? Everyone was kind of scared, right? D oh. I mean, he's not- he's a fucking main character. He can't die, but like, damn. Damn. That would have been fucking close, man. That would have been so fucking close, bro. Now, imagine if he dual wielded fucking shields. Asuna, catch him! Imagine him falling down, took some fall damage, and he's dead now. No, that's not gonna happen. That'd be so troll.
Yo, be really careful. Kirito could die. Just be very careful. Like last episode when Asuna punched us, right? For like... <laughs> we would just die. So only the army leader died, huh? Everyone else lived? <laughs> exactly. What if this actually damages him? Remember we learned about that. Do we really care that Kovac and two other men died there? Now, if it was Kyle's side, then I would be upset. But the army, like, fuck him. Who gives a shit? Oh, they've been doing boss clues pretty clean, huh? Those guys went fucking Leroy Jenkins in. Then we, we bailed them out. And they were, then again, it was listening to Kovac, the leader. It's all military stuff, so you have to listen. Secret technique. So no one has ever dual wielded in this game? I thought like dual wielding swords would be like a very common thing everyone would want to try out immediately, but it's like super rare. And Kirito was like, do I have to use that now? And he was trying to keep that like skill a secret. Starba stream? Dual wielding. Extra skill. He's a fucking beater. He's not gonna tell everyone else. He wants to be the only edgy dual wielding swordsman. <laughs> What? Exclusive? Unique to him? Why? The fuck? What? 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 It just was always there just for him. Now, 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 this is, this is some fucking, this is some main character bullshit, man. I don't fucking know, man. No one can get it. It's, it's just he can get it, huh? See? Look at Kyle, dude. Look at Kyle. Wingman, even though he kind of tried in the beginning. なんだよ。なんつか。嬉しかったよ。そんだけだ。Wait, wait, wait, what was that? What was that? What was that? Ah, oh, not just him being a big bro, dude. Aww. Asuna Giat, but... Uh, Klein is such a good character. This is why I'm so scared, dude. Because, like, good guys never live too long. And th I thought, like, this episode, this episode could have been where Klein would have died, you know? Like, if the army... I, I don't know. I, I could have totally seen, like, Kyle go in and, like, sacrifice himself. Or something like that. It hasn't happened yet. They're really prolonging it. Now, it could be just like a red hair, and maybe Kyle just survives to the bitter end. That'd be perfect to me. But it's like every time he shows up, I'm like, fuck, is it is it his time? Oh god. Yeah, she did. Why? To make sandwiches for us? I mean, near-death experiences does create deep bonding sessions, but Asuna's like, shit, I'ma just fucking leave my gill and just be housewife for you now because of this intimate moment we had together. I mean, I've already shit on, you know, the forced romance. It's, it's not that big of a deal, honestly, and I heard, I, heard, I, I hear that the light novel does it better, but all right, she's gonna be making personal sandwiches for us. Near-death Riz, that's right, near-death Riz. That dude, we gotta still look out for. Remember, it's been kind of hinted that he's gonna join or work with the Laughing Coffin, right? Let's kill the NPCs. How do I open a menu? I'm a girl. Alright. No more solo player. We're a Kirito and Asuna. It's a thing. Officially. <laughs> Tiffany. 50 hit combo with Starburst stream? Yo, are we the highlight of the whole game right now? Is everyone talking about us? What the fuck? Elizabeth, you're back. Oh, wow. I mean, Silica never came back. Sachi obviously can't come back, you know? But Elizabeth's back working with Tiffany. It makes sense. Our little secret. Oh god, it's the racist clansman, the Grand Wizard Asuna himself. <laughs> run away, Tiffany, run away! 
Okay. Basically, sorry about the subtitle. Whenever the date shows up, it fucks up. But basically, says this is the first time we've met, isn't it, Kirito Kun? Who is this? Don't worry about it. Oh, this is like the exact council of Asna's guild. Oh, okay, okay. Guild leader? Guild leader? He's he, he he's the actual Grand Wizard, huh? Like. If Asna is just a regular general, right? This guy is the actual leader of the KKK. All right, he's true racist found. Okay, okay. And now, now what though? What are we? What are we doing here? The soundtrack here is really sick too, though. Take away? No, she, I mean, kind of true. I mean, she wants to lead by her own accord, though. Ooh, damn, Kirito. Yes. <sighs> yo, 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 I don't know who the fuck this guy is, but he just came out of nowhere and he's hyping the stage up like no other. And the soundtrack again. The soundtrack is insane, dude. Nitoriu, If we lose, honestly, doesn't seem that bad. Joining the Knights of Blood doesn't sound too bad, honestly. We accept the duel. Oh, next episode! And that is another episode of Sword Art Online. And I hear everyone saying, like, this is, like, one of their favorite episodes. Some people were saying, like, it's their second favorite, which gets me kind of hyped up. But, yeah, for sure. Like, I, I guess, like, this is why everybody, you know, loves this episode, huh? This specific moment, the dual wielding session, right? Starburst stream. Now, we don't know why he has the unique skill, right? That, like... He's the only one that has it. No one, even if they want to dual wield, which is hilarious because like, what is it? You're just holding a fucking sword. What? The game just won't let you pick up another sword? What happens if you try to pick up another sword, huh? What? What? You, you, you gotta not let me pick up another fucking sword? I mean, I'm just thinking like, I see two fucking swords on the ground. We can't pick up both, but only he can do it because he's the fucking main character. Now, Asuna is leaving because intimate moments, right? Near death experiences causes intense bonding and she's like, Completely folded, but this guy at the end, dude. This guy, Heathcliff. I don't know anything about him, but he's the guild master and he's talking pretty big and he wants a duel against Kirito. Yo, next episode's gonna be so cool, too. But hey, if you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video, check out the other playlist for more content, and until next time, take care.